Hello friends, in this video we are going to be looking very deep into dodging and burning. This is Twisted Creative, Alarby like Money is my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. In case you want to follow along, image is available in the description for download. This is the image we are going to be using and if you check up here, we have a group here and you shouldn't be confused about what is there. What we just have there is the description. Look at what we have there. So it's just a kind of, if you check like the way a makeup artist does, they have some colors that they use to apply and create contours, you know, and highlight. We are going to be enhancing the shadows and also enhance the highlights to create more depth on this portrait. We are going to be leaving the mid-tone. We are going to consider the mid-tone to the area we are not going to attend to. So we are going to leave the mid-tone and attend to just the highlights and the shadows. So if you take a look at this image, you can see the drawing. You can see the drawing. There are so many features that we need to bring out. If you check the original image, you notice that there are some things that are not visible, which we are going to be using dodging and burning to make them visible. So we are going to be starting by creating an adjustment layer. We have to go to the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. So we are going to drag downward to darken the image like so. Okay, like this. Click on the layer max and use your control I to invert the layer max. Rename it to burn. So we'll click on the adjustment layer again and choose curve for the second time. Now we are going to drag it up to improve the highlights. Click on the layer max and use our control I to invert the layer max. Then we'll have to rename this to dodge. Then we'll have to select the dodge. Hold our control to select the burn. Then use control G to place them in a group. Then we're going to rename this group to be dodge and burn. Now we have them renamed, we have to collapse this panel. We are going to pick our brush to make sure our foreground color is white and our background color is black. Then we we'll go to the opacity. We can use somewhere around 6 or 7 depending on how perfect you can be for this. Let's say 7. Then for the flow, you can take something like 12 should be okay. So we are going to be doing the burn aspect. We are going to select the layer marks of the burn. We can reduce the brush and increase the brush wherever it's going to fit. We can zoom in and zoom out anytime. Okay, let's go to our reference image. Let's take a look at this and see where we are going to place shadow and where we are going to place highlights. There are still other ways we can detect the area to dodge and the area to burn. Let's go by putting up this group and go to the adjustment layer and choose black and white. So with this black and white, you can turn it down all the way down. You can turn it all the way down so that it can be as dark as it could be. With this, you'll be able to detect that these areas are highlight areas. All these areas, you see highlights. All these areas are highlights. This is another way you can detect the area to dodge and the area to burn. Okay, let's see how we can darken this area of the image, the right side and the left side. For the nose so we have to pick our burn and disable this and go to the image direct and with the opacity and flow like this then we can start clicking on this area let's take a look at this other one we are going to come from the right side and go to the left side let's disable this again and we'll continue You can reduce your brush size to a very small size to make it look as if it's becoming a hard brush. So if you want it that hard, you can reduce it to a very small one. Then you take your time and, and draw a very straight line. Make it more perfect. So we can increase the brush now and secure this area. If you take a look at this image, you notice that there is a shadow here and there is shadow here. This strong shadow is telling us that the light is falling from the right side down to the left side. So we have to make sure 
we darken these areas so let's take a look at what we've done and let's say this is before and this is after this is before this is after so it's gradual process it's time consuming stuff but it's what it's Let's take a look at the diagram again and see that we are painting under the nose. We are painting under the nose. Okay. Let's go. And we are going to drag it down like this. Now, after doing this, I have to go in there. Then reduce the brush size. Then I'm going to create an angle. We are going to create an angle from the middle of the nose, like this, the middle of the nose. So we are going to create from the middle of the nose, we are going to burn this area. Then from there, we will create an angle like this. We are going to be stopping somewhere here. So we are going to create this angle here. Okay, let's go to, let's dodge this area. Let's click on dodge and reduce our brush size. And from this part of the nose, from this right hole of the nose, let's drag from here to, to this part of the lip. I have to make it very tiny. Then we have to do from this other nose, from this hole of this other nose, then we can bring it down to this part of the lip. So we have to make sure that it's not too much. If you notice it's too much, you can use your X to toggle between the foreground and the background so as to use it for eraser. Then you can erase some part of it. So I'm not going to be too visible. We can go with it like this. Let's go back to burn area. Use your X to toggle back. Make sure the foreground is white and the background is black. Then you continue. You can paint on the burn area so let's check the before and after this is before this is after this is before this is after let's check the general before and after this is before this is after this is before this is after you can see the creative job there let's continue why the burn layer max is selected you can increase your brush size and continue burning Okay, let's check the before and after the burning. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. You can see that something is happening here. Let's continue. Can increase your brush, then continue. So let's take a look at the diagram again. This is the diagram and we have done we are done with this area then we are done with this area then this we have done with this let's go back and see what we can do here we can reduce and burn this area then you can see the depth there that was created let's go then this area we can dodge this area this area should be considered as a shadow area I can see it's shadow here because of the eyelash so let's go we have to make sure this area is really dark we reduce the brush size and go in here also Okay, let's go up here and burn this area. Let's take a look at the diagram again. So we have to burn this area like so. We have to burn it like so. Okay, let's go by closing this up and we have to be taking it this way. Taking it like this. 
then go back like this so let's take a look at before and after this is before this is after this is before this is after you can see the effect around here let's continue by going this area and do this direction So let's check the before and after. This is before burning and this is after burning. This is before burning and this is after burning. You can see the huge difference. You can see that the nose is well pointed and all that. Let's go to dodge area. Let's choose the layer marks of dodge and can go up there and reduce the brush size. Then we'll click on this highlight. So we have to see the before and after. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Then let's go to the cheek area. We can increase the, let's take a look at the diagram again. And this is the where the highlights will be. Then let's disable this again and continue with the highlights here. So I think it's okay this way. Then let's go to this area and do the same. Let's take a look at the diagram again. And so we have to do the same here. then around this area is still shiny if you take a look at this area i know that we have some shiny areas of the nose so we have to shine them up like this area we have to shine here up then this area also this is before dodging this is after dodging then let's go to the forehead like this area we need highlights there also like if you check the diagram we still need highlights here so we have to disable this and go to the forehead and do something like this here then i think we should be okay with this then let's zoom in and the chin here we have to do something here this is let's take a look at the diagram and as you can see we have a highlight stuff there then let's make it shine taking a look at this image now you notice that a great job has been done here let's take a look at the before and after let's hold our art and see the general before and after this is before and this is after this is before and this is after you can see the depth you can see the sharpness of the nose if we decide to leave it like this we can reduce the opacity the entire opacity if you take a look at it now you notice that it's so subtle it's so subtle and so interesting let's see the before and after this is before and this is after this is before and this is after you can see reduce the opacity to like 60 percent or thereabout just take a look at it this is before and this is after this is before and this is after isn't that a professional touch okay let's zoom in so that brings us to the bonus tip we are going to be adding shine to this highlight so how do we add shine to the highlight we can select this dodge go to the adjustment layer and choose curves again then we can pick the highlight up like so then we can close this panel and double click on these curves we can drag the dark slider of the underlying layer forward to create to to stop them where those our highlights are so we have to stop them here we have to stop it here because we have the highlights selected now then we have to hold our alt to split this click on this angle to split it apart then we can spread it to blend it up then after doing this we have to hit ok then go to the layer mask select the layer mask use our control i to invert layer mask then pick pick our brush to pick our brush to make sure the foreground color is white and background color is black and you can take your opacity and flow to 100 percent and just dab in those areas So if you find out that it's too much, you can reduce the opacity of that layer. Let's reduce it to like 
60 percent is okay let's see the before and after this is before the shine after the shine before the shine after the shine we notice that the highlight of the chain is not included in that so we have to create another adjustment layer for that click on the adjustment layer choose curves pick it up then we have to be focusing on just here then collapse this panel then double click on this layer to bring that layer style boss then drag this dark slider of the underlying layer forward to create that shine there then you have it then you can hold down your alt and click on this angle to split it apart to create a fine transition then you hit ok then select your layer marks and use your control i to invert then you can use your brush to make sure the foreground color is white and background color is black then you just dab in that area so if you take a look at this image now you notice that we have it shining so we can name this okay let's say this is shine this is shine then this other one should be let's say chin shine this is before the chin this is after the chin let's select the shine and reduce the opacity still reduce the opacity to about 30 something percent and let's say before and after before and after let's take a look at the entire job by holding our shot down and clicking on this so this is before a flat image now this is after as you can see look at look at you see the dimension there that is it on how to dodge and burn like a pro if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has help, the area it has not and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if it's your first time on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that i don't miss any of the next video thanks for watching today's video creative people will keep on creating see you in the next video bye for now